Hi guys, I want us to look at validation rule in validation text in forms that is in Microsoft Access database. Therefore, in many circumstances, we usually do validation in table design, but you can also do validation in forms. Therefore, let's just create a form. Just go to this fees here. If I just hit on fees, then you go to create and then hit on this one, this form here. It will automatically create a form for us. Then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have fees payable, fees paid and fees balance. We also have the student name here. Therefore, we just do a bit of validation in this uh, form. Therefore, what you need to do is to go to design view of the form. And then, like, um, I want us to do validation of fees payable and also name. Uh, for this case, I want to make sure that when somebody types the name of a student here in small letters, it automatically uh, changes to uppercase. Therefore, what you need to do is go to properties. Then, on this point here, you just go to or here, or just go to... Uh, this point here format then uh, when we just go to this format here uh, on this point here we just put uh, uh, that sign that is a greater than sign therefore after doing that we can just save this one and then run our form therefore if we go and add new student here then type something like uh, I'll just type in small letters that way automatically Microsoft Access validates that one. You see, I have typed in small letters, but now it will be uh, changed to capital letter simply because of just doing that validation here using the uh, greater than sign here. On the other hand, we can just go and validate the fees payable here. And if I just hit on data, uh, ladies and gentlemen, then once I hit on data, I will go to validation rule here. I also have validation text and therefore for that case uh, we want to validate that somebody cannot pay fees less than a thousand and therefore for that case you just type uh, that is validation rule for that case uh, is should be greater or equal to uh, a thousand therefore somebody cannot pay something that is less than a thousand and therefore for that case validation text this is the error message that comes when you violate the validation rule. And therefore, you can just come here and type that uh, you cannot, that um, that is the message is that you can, you cannot pay fees less than 1,000 that way. Therefore, that is the message that uh, we shall have. Therefore, after doing that, press Control S to save your work. And then you can try to see whether that validation of ours is working. And therefore, for that case, let's assume this student of ours here pays uh, something like 980. Then you try to go to the next feed. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. You see now you cannot pay fees less than 1,000. But this time round, I have done my validation in a form. Therefore, we can just go to that. And then you see that one is acceptable for that case. Therefore, uh, it is important and worth noting that uh, you can do the whatever you can do in a table design here, whatever you can do in this point here, uh, here you can do validation at this point. Alternatively, it, it's also uh, agreeable and acceptable that you can also do validation in the form, just like I have uh, shown you. Uh, using the property sheet and therefore ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching see you in my next session